What's up YouTube, it's Dev Designs, and I'm bringing a tutorial to my channel. This will be about adjustment layers. The next tutorial video will be about dodge and burn tools. Um, this video is obviously, like I said, it's going to be on adjustment layers. So I'm going to go through some of the ones that I enjoy the most. You can see they're already right here, but I already add them in the bottom right with the circle that's half black and half white. Basically, adjustment layers are color corrections in the smallest form. You could say without having uh, bigger programs do it for you. You can go to adjustment layers. My favorite one is gradient map, but I'll get back to that later. These are all the options you have. Um, basically, the ones I use the most are levels, hue, saturation, photo filter, and gradient map. I'm going to go through all four of those with you. So let's start with mm, hue and saturation. It's going to come up as a new layer and it has your settings right here. This is Photoshop CS5. I normally work on CS6, but that is on my other laptop, so I'm just going to make CS5 work for now. Hue and saturation and lightness. First off, I never mess with the hue because that just changed the complete color of the picture and I like the pictures the way they are, so I'll just put that back down to zero. But I always mess, mess around with saturation. So let's say we want it a lot like black and white, so you just take the saturation down all the way and now it's black and right white. If you take it all the way to the right, it basically loses the quality of the image and it looks bad, obviously. But if you take it down a little bit, it like to seventy to where it doesn't lose that the coloration and the quality. If I take it away, you can see this is the normal image right now, and if I unhide it, that's what the saturation looks like. I never, or I won't say never, I rarely use saturation that bright. If so, it'll be a little bit, and or a little bit less, just to give it a moody feeling so I can work with what I'm going to do next. So let's just put this at minus 15, and let's move on. Lightness, that's obviously given black to white, just depends on how dark you want it. I never mess with that e either because it affects other things that I'm going to show you guys. So that was hue and saturation. Let's add levels now. Levels, it has three main parts. Highlights, shadows, and then something else I can't really remember right now. But highlights, if you look at these far back trees and then the sky the whiter area, and even like the seagulls or the water in some places. If we take highlights and move it to the left, it'll make that pop more or brighter or whatever. Like as you can see, it comes from that area where it's a lot brighter, like I said. So normally I'll put that up just a little bit and then the middle down a little bit to make it more moody, to make it more darker, obviously, as you can tell. I never really mess with the left one because that just, I don't know. I really don't, no need for it. So I'll leave it at 80. Let's just put that at 0 dot 80, just so it's an even number, because I like working with even numbers. So that's basically it. If I take that away, there's a slight difference, and it definitely does a lot for your image, as you can see. I mean, if you don't like it, don't use it, but I use it all the time. Next one, let's do photo filter, just because it's a lot easier right now than doing gradient map, and I'll get to that last. Photo filter. There are presets and or there's this color you can choose. The presets are basically, let's do a deep yellow. You can see, if you take the density and put it up a lot more and then take it away, it already adds this mood to the image. It gives it this yellow feeling and that works with all these. Let's say warming filter. It gives it this orangish, yeah, an orange basic color. Basic color. You can take the density down and or up. I'd like it in the middle and then obviously take that away you can see the difference. So that's what photo filter is. It is There's presets um, if you want to choose your color I mean you can do any color you want. Let's do like a lime green ish color. Let's put that in the middle actually so it's a lot more lime. And then we give it its color. Preserve luminosity. I don't know you can't really see the difference in that one. Or, I mean, I can because it looks, but I don't know if you will be able to do it in the video. It just gives it brighter. But as far as the filters go, normally I can use basically any of these. 
because they all end up going well with each image, like the blue, you know, you can't really see the difference, but yeah, probably because I have it hidden, that makes sense, that would be the blue though, all the blue it looks extremely weird, I mean, unless you like it like that, but I like it around 50, whatever, okay, so that's photo filter, and I'm taking that off so I can do the gradient map, the gradient map is more customization, sort of, and you have, obviously, your black and white, dither and reverse, never mess with those, unless you really want to, but reverse is just weird, it, like, switches the highlights, uh, black is mainly your shadows, I think, don't quote me on that, normally I'll take a dark blue and a yellow or orange, like a bright yellow or orange, so I'm going to go right in between both of them and go up to this area. Or even if I want to go straight to yellow and go up in this area. Either there or a gold type of color. Click OK, OK. And you can see that it has changed the whole color of the image. But if you go to blend mode, I always do color dot or color burn. It gives it this, I don't know, you can say vibrant, but I don't think that's the word. Normally, I'll take that about to 50. I think 50 is perfect for this image. 50 or 30. 50 and 30 are my normal. So if I take that away, you can see the big difference. And it definitely makes it look prettier, or more pretty, if you don't like my language or vocab. Or grammar, I don't even know. I don't like school. That's why I'm doing this stuff, because I like this stuff. But you can see there's a big difference in the image, obviously. So those are the main adjustment layers that I use. There are a lot more. Curves is like levels, but I don't know. I'm not good with curves, I guess. Black and white, obviously, invert, prosterize, threshold, selective color. All these types of adjustment layers. Go have fun with them. Mess around with them. Pick different images than this one. If you want this image, I'll just put it in the description of where I found it so you can mess around with that. I am going to make, be making more tutorials. Um, dodge and burn tool tutorials because it's my favorite tool um, pen tool drawings whatever speed arts so those will be expected on my channel um, so yeah guys if you like this video like it leave it a like if you have any suggestions comment and if you just enjoy what I do subscribe and keep posted so peace out guys